and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will answer questions on the Plantagenet noblewoman who survived the Wars of the Roses, the film star who scared us all as the Joker, a Danish astronomer and a young playwright who broke down barriers. Four subjects, just two minutes apiece and an extra half minute for the general knowledge round. They're all after the same prize, the honour of being able to call themselves mastermind, but there are some pretty formidable obstacles in their way. Tonight's winner goes through to the semi-final, so let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name is? Becca Oliver. Your occupation? Church worker. And your chosen subject? The films of Heath Ledger. And the Australian actor who died when he was only 28. Two minutes starting now. In the film I'm Not There, Ledger is one of six actors cast to embody aspects of the life of which singer? Bob Dylan. Yep. For what film did Ledger win a posthumous Oscar as Best Supporting Actor? The Dark Knight. Yes. What is the title of the song that Ledger's character Patrick performs for the benefit of Cat over the sports field's loudspeaker system in Ten Things I Hate About You? I Love You, Baby. Yes, can't take my eyes off you. Who won the 2001 Best Actress Oscar for her role as Letitia Musgrove in Monster's Ball? Halle Berry. Yes. What is the title of the novel by Robert Drew on which the 2003 film version of the story of Ned Kelly is based? Oh, my, our sunshine. Yes. What is the name of Ledger's character in the film Brokeback Mountain? Ennis Delmar. Yes. In the 2003 supernatural thriller The Order, Ledger's character, Alex Bernier, belongs to which order of priests? Pass. In the medieval comedy A Knight's Tale, the English actor Paul Bettany plays a writer who calls himself the Lily Among the Thorns. Which writer? Geoffrey Chaucer. Yes. What slogan is written on the young Woody Guthrie's guitar case when he shares a ride in a boxcar at the start of I'm Not There? The same dusty guitar case reappears at the end of the film. Pass. What is the title of the film directed by Terry Gilliam that... Ledger was working on when he died in 2008. The Imaginarium of Dr Parnassus. Yes. What kind of vehicle does the Joker use to escape from a bank robbery in The Dark Knight? A school bus. Yes. In A Knight's Tale, in which area of London was William Thatcher, also known as Sir Ulrich von Liechtenstein, born? At the end of the story, he returns home to be reunited with his blind father. Cheapside. Yep. In Brokeback Mountain, what does Ennis Del Mar think he has lost on the sheep trail but rediscovers in Jack's belongings at his parents' house after Jack has died? A bloodstained shirt. Yes. What is the name of the student's guidance counsellor, played by Alison Janney, in Ten Things I Hate About You, who is more interested in writing a steamy novel than attending to the needs of her students? Miss Perky. Yes. What is the name of the district attorney who falsely announces he is Batman and submits himself to police custody in the dark night? Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent is correct. Two passes. That slogan written on the guitar case was This Machine Kills Fascists and the priests was the Carolingians. Those two passes, Becca, you have 13 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. Francis Atherton. Your occupation? Admin assistant. And your chosen subject? The life and times of Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury. And the niece of two kings, executed by a third. In two minutes, starting now, Margaret was one of the last survivors of the Plantagenet dynasty. What was the name of her father, who was the brother of Edward IV? George, Duke of Clarence. Yep. In 1487, who became the figurehead of a Yorkist rebellion when he claimed he was Margaret's brother, Edward? Per, uh, Lambert Simnel. Yes. Which pope beatified Margaret in 1886? Pope Leo XIII. Yep. In 1493, Margaret's husband, Richard, was appointed as the Chamberlain in the household of which prince? Prince Arthur. Yes. What is the title of the book written by Margaret's son, Reginald, in which he calls Henry VIII a robber and a murderer and says that he is a greater enemy to Christianity than the Turks? De Unitate Ecclesiastica. Yes. Yes. Which castle in Hampshire was Margaret's main residence? It was commissioned in 1517 and built to her specification. Warblington Castle. Yep. Henry VII initially sent Margaret and her brother Edward to live with a member of the royal family after his victory at the Battle of Bosworth. Who? Princess Elizabeth. 
Margaret Beaufort, Countess of Richmond. What role was Margaret appointed to in the household of Catherine of Aragon to help in the upbringing of her goddaughter, Princess Mary? Governess. Yes. With whom did Margaret take out a joint loan of £40 from Henry VII in order to pay for her husband Richard's burial? Charles Somerset. Yes. Margaret was one of only two women who held a noble title in her own right in 16th century England. Who was the other? Um, the Duchess of Warwick. Now, Anne Boleyn. In 1533, Margaret was implicated in a scandal involving prophecies made about the King by a woman known as the Nun, or Holy Maid, of Kent. What was her name? Elizabeth Barton. Yes, in 1535, when the Imperial Ambassador suggested that Princess Mary should be returned to Margaret's care, King Henry told him that Margaret was a fool of no experience. What was the Ambassador's name? Chapuis. Yes. To which house was Margaret moved in November 1538 for further questioning before she was transferred to the Tower of London where she was held until her execution in 1541? Cowdery. Yes. Margaret disagreed with Thomas Cromwell over the appointment of William Barlow as the head of a priory in 1535 because Barlow was a supporter of Henry's divorce. Which priory? Bisham. Is correct. You have no passes, Francis. You have scored 12 points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Errol Sawyer. Your occupation? Uh, commercial director. And your chosen subject? Taiho Brahi. The uh, 16th century Danish mathematician and astronomer. In two minutes, starting now. What part of Brahe's anatomy was permanently injured in a sword fight? He had to wear a metal prosthesis. Uh, the bridge of his nose. Yes. Uh, Brahe's observations of a comet in 1577 led him to conclude that it orbited the sun, challenging the cosmological theories of which 4th century BC Greek philosopher? Aristotle. Yes. Which German prince, with a strong interest in astronomy, was so impressed with Brahe that he contacted the King of Denmark to persuade him to be Brahe's patron? Um, sorry, pass. What celestial event did Brahe observe at 13? It led him to buy the recently published edition of Ptolemy's astronomical works. It was a solar eclipse. Yes, which Scottish scholar revealed ideas in his lectures at the University of Rostock that Brahe complained had been passed on in strict confidence? Uh, sorry, pass. What was the name of Brahe's ground-level observatory at Fan that featured his motto, neither wealth nor power, but only knowledge alone endures? Stjernaborg. Yes. What is the name of the imperial mathematician who was accused of plagiarism and slander by Brahe after he read his book in 1598? Uh, pass. What did Brahe provide for the Danish king when each of his sons was born, as well as sending him almanacs every year, even though he was sceptical about astrology? Almagast. Horoscopes. Horoscope. What was the name of the Danish tutor who accompanied the 15-year-old Brahe to Leipzig University, where he was meant to study law, but spent his time on mathematics and astronomy? And uh, Sorensen Vettel. Yes. Which Polish astronomer had asserted that the Earth revolved round the Sun, while Brahe thought that while other planets orbited the Sun, the Earth remained stationary? Copernicus. Yes. Who succeeded Brahe as imperial mathematician and described him as that phoenix of astronomy? Uh, Kepler. Yeah. In 1574, Brahe gave a series of lectures on astronomy, beginning by referring to Moses, Hipparchus, Ptolemy and Copernicus. At what university? Uh, Copenhagen? Yes. What castle was selected as a site for a new observatory when Brahe was invited to choose between three estates by Emperor Rudolf II in 1599? Um, sorry, pass. Well, I can tell you because we're out of time. Benatki, you had three other passes. Nicholas Rymarus, or Rhinus Bear, was the name of the imperial mathematician. Duncan Liddell was the Scottish scholar. And Wilhelm IV of Hesse was that German prince who was so interested right. in astronomy. You've scored now, Errol, eight points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Kit Garrett. Your occupation? Graduate student. And your chosen subject? The life and plays of Sarah Kane. 
the uh, English playwright best known for her play Blasted. Two minutes starting now. At which university did Kane start studying drama in 1989? While she was there, she began to write seriously. Bristol. Yep. In Cleansed, what yellow flowers burst upwards out of the ground, covering the entire stage after the gunfire stops? Daffodils. Yep. Kane took her own life in 1999 after completing her final play, which itself explores suicidal depression. What's it called? 448 Psychosis. Yes. What is the title of the 10 minute screenplay that Kane wrote for transmission on Channel 4 television, which was first screened at the London Film Festival? in October 1995. Skin. Yep. In Crave, the character B speaks three lines in Spanish, two lines in Serbo-Croatian and two lines in which other language? German. Yes. Who became Kane's literary agent after seeing a performance of an early version of Blasted? She recommended Kane to the Royal Court Theatre. Mel Canyon. Yep. In the opening scene of Phaedra's Love, the royal doctor tells Phaedra that Hippolytus should change his diet and he can't live on hamburgers and what other foodstuff? Sweet. Peanut butter. In Blasted, the journalist Ian dictates down the phone the copy for his piece about a bubbly 19-year-old tourist from Leeds who was one of seven victims found buried in New Zealand. What's her name? Samantha Scrace. Yes. In 448 Psychosis, one of the characters dreamt she went to see a doctor who gave her eight minutes to live. How long had she been sitting in the waiting room? Half an hour. Yes. Kane took up the post of literary associate at which London theatre in March 1994? The Bush Theatre. Yes. In Crave, C says that if I die now, I was murdered by... You. Daytime television. Ah. In Phaedra's Love, what birthday present has Hippolytus wrapped up and given to himself? A uh, toy car. Yes, a remote control car. Kane wrote and performed her one-woman play entitled Comic Monologue at the Edinburgh Festival in August 91 as part of a Bristol University theatre company. What company? Sore Throat. Yeah. Which actor who plays Spud in Train Spotting plays Billy Boy in the Channel 4 production of Kane's short play Skin? Pass. Well, I can tell you as it happens because we're out of time. It was Ewan Bremner. Oh. Kit, you have 11 points. And now it's time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together for the first time in this contest. <laughs> and it is the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they are tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And do remember that the contenders don't know what each other has scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score, and that is Errol. And Errol, it can be revealed that you have... Eight points in the bag, and you now have two and a half minutes for your general knowledge. Here we go. Bones is the nickname of Dr. Leonard McCoy in the original version of which science fiction television it's series? Star Trek. Yes. To what animal does the adjective lupine refer? Wolf. Yep. Who was inspired to compose his third symphony, the Scottish, after a visit to Holyrood Palace? Uh, pass. What male forename comes from the Greek for royal or kingly? It's also the name of a garden herb. Uh, sage. Basil, what is the name of the New York Yankees baseball star who became Marilyn Monroe's second husband in 1954? George DiMaggio. No, Joe DiMaggio. In motor racing, who won the Formula One World Drivers' Championship five times in succession, starting in the year 2000? Schumacher. Yes. What food products, widely associated with Northern England, are judged at the Concours International du Meilleur Boudin, held annually in Normandy? Uh, sausage. Black puddings. Black puddings. Which county in eastern England was known as Bomber County during the Second World War because of the number of bomber squadrons based there? Huntingdon. Lincolnshire. According to the title of Lionel Shriver's 2005 Orange Prize winning novel, we need to talk about... Kevin. Yes. What farm animal appears along with the Union Jack on the Falkland Islands flag? Penguin. Sheep. What name is given to the fine powdery grains produced on the anther of a flower that contain the male reproductive cells? Certain forms of it can produce the allergic reaction known as hay fever. Pollen. Yes. Who was the only 20th century Prime Minister to win three successive general elections and was Britain's longest continuously serving Prime Minister since Lord Liverpool? Thatcher. 
Yes, indeed. Which German-born artist, a lady with a squirrel and a starling, is thought to have been painted between 1526 and 1528 during his first visit to England? Holbein. Yes. In August 1980, what became the last single by ABBA to top the UK charts? Um, sorry, pass. Jason Takes Manhattan, released in 1989, and Freddy vs. Jason, released in 2003, are films in what horror series franchise? Um... Sorry, pass. Which of the first five books of the Bible deals mainly with priests and their duties? It consists of sacrificial and other laws and includes a list of animals that may or may not be eaten. Um, laws. Leviticus. Lebe In what country are the Mirage family of Delta Wing jet fighter planes built? France. Yes. Which American sitcom set in the late 50s and early 1960s originally centred on the high school students Richie Cunningham and Warren Potsy Webber? Um, happy Days? Happy Days is correct. You had three passes there. All Friday the 13th was that um, horror franchise. Super Trooper was the last ABBA single. And Mendelssohn wrote correct. the third symphony. Those three passes, Errol, you have a total of 17 points. <laughs> and next into the chair, Kit, please. And uh, you scored 11 points in the first round. So let's see how you do in this general knowledge round. Two and a half minutes, here we go. What is the colour of the cross on the English flag of St George? Red. Yes, in what athletics event have the Britons, Denise Lewis and Jessica Ennis-Hill won Olympic gold medals? Uh, heptathlon. Yep. Who reprised the characters Renton, Sick Boy and Begbie in his 2012 novel Skag Boys? Irvin Welsh. Yes. What French word meaning brewery is also used for a simple restaurant or a bar that serves food? Bistro. Brasserie. Which Christian group, based in Pennsylvania and noted for their simple lifestyle, are named after a 17th century Mennonite leader? Pass. Which Elizabethan adventurer did Millet portray as a child sitting with his brother on the seafront in Devon while he listened intently to an old sailor? Pass. What two-word term used mainly in North America means land and the buildings on it, along with its natural resources? Pass. Which group backed Lulu on her first UK top ten hit, Shout, in 1964? Pass. Which tree, native to China and also known as the maidenhair tree, has been used for centuries in herbal medicines? Extracts from its leaves are used in remedies for cognitive complaints such as dementia. Willow? Ginkgo. What sub-microscopic unit of matter consists of a positively charged nucleus surrounded by a diffuse cloud of negatively charged electrons? Positron? No, atom. Mozart Symphony No. 38 is named after a capital city where it was first performed during his visit there in 1787. Which city? Vienna. Prague. Compo Cleggie and the former Royal Signal Sergeant Cyril Blaymeyer were the original trio in which television comedy series? Last of the Civil War. Yes. What is the name of Phileas Fogg's manservant who accompanies him on his journey around the world in 80 days in Jules Verne's novel? Pass. Which American state was Sarah Palin the governor of from 2006 to 2009? Alaska. Yes, which South Coast resort had the suffix Regis added to its name after George V stayed there to recover from a serious illness? Lime. Bogna. Bread that has been very thinly sliced and toasted until it's dry and crisp is named after which Australian-born opera singer? Melba. Yep. What city, famous for its swords, was the capital of Castilian Spain from 1087 to 1560 when the capital was moved to Madrid? Barcelona. Toledo. Which future British king had ten children by his mistress, the actress Dorothea Jordan? Pass. Who became the host of the television game show The Price is Right when it was revived in December 2017? Joe Pasquale. Alan Carr. And your pass is William IV, was the king who had all those kids with his mistress, ten of them. Passepartout was the name of Phileas Fogg's manservant. It was Lulu and the Lovers. Two were term... Real estate. Ah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sir Walter Raleigh was the Elizabethan adventurer, and that Christian group based in Pennsylvania were the Amish. Yep. <laughs> Kit, you also now have a total of 17 points. <laughs> and now Francis again, please, with uh, 12 points, Francis. And um, as you'll have heard, 
the other two scored 17 in total. So that's what you've got to beat. Here we go. A list that includes pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath and sloth is commonly known as the seven... Deadly sins. Yeah. What term is used for milk that has had nearly all the fat content removed from it? Skimmed. Yeah. Red and grey are the largest species of what animals that live in groups known as mobs under the leadership of a large male known as an old man or boomer? Uh, squirrels. Kangaroos. Who plays Detective Superintendent Elizabeth Bancroft, a detective with an explosive secret in the 2017 television series Bancroft? Nicola Walker. Sarah Parrish. London's venues for gun salutes fired on royal occasions, such as the Queen's official birthday of the Tower of London, Green Park, and what other park? St James's Park. Hyde Park. Peter Gwillem, a retired Secret Service agent of the Cold War era, is the principal character in the 2017 novel A Legacy of Spies. Who wrote it? John le Carré. Yes. Which of the Norse gods was married to the giantess Sif? Odin. Thor, what name is given to the vessels that carry blood from the heart to the tissues of the body? Arteries. Yes. Which of Henry VIII's wives was born in about 1509 and brought up at Wolf Hall near Savernake in Wiltshire? Jane Seymour. Yes. Which composer who was born in Vienna in 1874 created a new method of composition based on a row or series of 12 notes, sometimes called atonality? Schubert. Schoenberg. In what sport was the now standard 1.68 inch ball first used in America? Baseball. Golf. Britain's railway network was drastically reduced following a report by the chairman of the British Railways Board from 1963 to 1965. What was his name? Beecham. No, Dr. Richard Beeching. Which area of woodland and heath in southern England was designated a national park in March 2005? Um, the New Forest. Yes. Who received an Oscar nomination for his performance as Arthur Back, a happy drunk who is the heir to a vast fortune in the 1981 film Arthur? Dudley Moore. Yeah. In which European capital city is the Prater Park, an amusement park famed for its giant Ferris wheel? Brussels. Vienna. Which novel by Charles Dickens features the minor characters Tom Pinch, Mercy and Charity Pecksniff and the umbrella-wielding Mrs Gamp? Nicholas Nickleby. Or Martin Chuzzlewit. What craft that originated in Java involves the creation of patterns on cloth with the use of dyes masked out with wax? Uh, Tie-dye. No, it was batik, or rather it is batik, but uh, you were close. Uh, you now have a total, Francis, of 19 points. <laughs> And finally, into the chair, Becca. And uh, you start out with 13 points, and the score to beat is now 19, with your general knowledge. So here we go. Which novel by Charles Dickens is set in both London and Paris? Tale of Two Cities. Yes, the compilation album Time Flies, 1994 to 2009, was the eighth and last number one album by which band? Blur. Oasis. In the Book of Genesis, Sodom and which other city was destroyed by brimstone and fire? Gamora. Yes, in the annual boat race between Oxford and Cambridge, which member of the rowing crew steers the boat and issues instructions? Cox. Yep. Who composed the incidental music for a Cambridge University production of the play The Wasps in 1909? The overture is now the most frequently performed part. Pass. The image of which mountain has been reproduced countless times in Japanese art, most notably in a series of prints by Hokusai published between 1826 and 1833? Everest. Fuji. What German victory in August 1914 over Russian forces was seen as revenge for a 1410 battle of the same name where the German Teutonic Knights had been routed by Poles and Lithuanians? Pass. Who did Emerson Mnangagwa replace as the president of Zimbabwe in 2017? Robert Mugabe? Yes. What is the name of the character played by Richard Beckinsale, who shares a cell with Fletcher in the television series Porridge? Pass. Which South American country that lies between Brazil and Argentina has Montevideo as its capital? Uruguay. Yes. Dolores Hayes is the real name of the title character of a controversial novel by Vladimir Nabokov, first published in 1955. What's the novel? Lolita. Yes. What is the common name for the point where the ulna nerve passes behind the elbow joint? It produces a painful sensation when it's hit. Uh, pass. 
Which double Oscar-winning actress plays Julia Roberts' mother in Steel Magnolias and Tom Hanks' mother in Forrest Gump? Uh, Sally Field. Yes. In what religion are the Brahmins the highest of the four social castes? Buddhism. Hindu. What is the name of the dark-coloured sweet American soft drink traditionally made from extracts of sassafras and sarsaparilla, among other plants? Coke. Root beer. Which concert venue was built between 1867 and 1871 in South Kensington and was originally called the Hall of Arts and Sciences? Royal Albert Hall. Yes. How many rode into the Valley of Death in Tennyson's poem about the charge of the Light Brigade? 600. Yes. Common and sand are two species of scaly-skinned reptiles native to Britain. What reptiles? Pass. Which brass orchestral instrument shares its name with the French word meaning paperclip? Trombone. Yes. What is the name of the 15th century writer whose work, Le Mort d'Arthur, is the source of many of the legends about King Arthur and his knights? Mallory. Mallory is correct. You had uh, five passes. Lizards is the name for those uh, scaly skinned reptiles. You'll be cross about this one. Funny Bone is the oh, name yeah. for the... <laughs> uh, Lenny Godber was that character played by Richard Beckinsale. The Battle of Tannenberg was the one in uh, 1914, and Vaughan Williams composed yeah. the incidental music. However, Becca, you have scored 24 points, and that means you are the winner. Thank you. Well, pretty clear winner at the end. Let's have a look at all the scores. In joint third place, 17 points apiece, Errol and Kit. Second place, 19 points. Francis, first place, 24 points. Becca. And she goes through to the semi finals. <laughs> and if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.